Welcome everybody to Extreme Power and No Handling and today we're dealing with the 1992 Ford Escort RS Cosworth and yeah I chose this along the lines of the Audi TT that we used in the last episode which did really really well though it only just came close to the beating the Prowler so yeah not far off at all so I take the bake it's concept of that four wheel drive plenty of power and you chose this the Escort so yeah, it has 865 horsepower from a V6 engine weighing 2,937 pounds. So yeah, it's not quite as powerful as the Audi TT, though it is nearly 500 pounds lighter. So that's going to help in terms of handling, braking, and acceleration. So yeah, it won't have the ludicrous top speed of that Audi, but it will have the acceleration, like I said, and the handling as well to go with it. So yeah, it should hopefully be able to beat the Audi and even better beat the Prowler. So yeah. Let's see what it can do. So yeah, it only weighs, like I said, 2,937 pounds, but extremely light for an all-wheel drive car. And way, way, way lighter than the uh, Audi TT. And that was really the only problem with that Audi TT, was the excess weight. So hopefully this will prove to be... Uh, Better than that in terms of the weight. I'll certainly be able to use the power more in a more efficient and better way than the yeah, Audi with that weight not being there. I guess you could say that at least one positive of it not having as much power as the Audi is it's not going to be as out of control. It should, certainly shouldn't understeer as much either because it is a V6 rather than the Audi 310 so it's going to have a lot less weight up front. There was a V8 option for this but you could only, I could only really get 780 horsepower out of it. Could have got a bit more out of it but it would have added more weight. And yeah, being a V8 as well weighs more than this V6 anyway so just wasn't really worth it even though it is quite hilarious seeing an Escort have a V8 in it. We're all about beating that point of power of time. And that's a stunning lap time just from a first lap. Under 1 minute 20. Just under a second quicker than our first lap so far. Oh no 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 no! Damn it! Oh, that's not gonna help. Get off me, tire. That's going to be the lap to try and do it in. It's going to run up out of this corner as we can for the next lap. Come on. We aren't all that far off. Actually, like one and a half seconds off. Might sound like a great deal, but it really isn't when you're talking about these kind of cars. So that's that one and a half seconds there. Let's try and hold on to that. Star time, percent, uh, split time, which is only good. Gives us a bit more room to manoeuvre. Mm -hmm. 
I think we've done it. 1 minute 18.245. So let's see uh, how that does rank against the Plymouth Prowler. Just open it up. I think we're just about hundredths of point one of a second ahead. Yeah, we are point one. Uh, what was it? Yeah, we're point one two zero ahead, which is literally by the skin of our teeth. Full of Prowler, one minute eighteen point three six five. We're one eighteen point two four five. So we finally did it. We finally found a car that is able to beat that Prowler. It's been at the top for ages. The Lexus was the first car that came close for a long time, and then the Audi TT smashed that time by nearly two seconds. And now this uh, Ford Escort has smashed the Prowler. Well, I wouldn't say smash, it's only just, but it's still ahead, and that's all that really matters. So yeah, I think we've found the kind of cars that we need to be looking at to get even faster. Four-wheel drive and relatively light. Anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.